Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you guys a uh, iPhone tutorial how you can get an app that can clean up your iPhone and have it to be much more faster and also get rid of all of the junks that may be um, stored on your device because a lot of time do remember that our iPhone act as a computer sometimes because we do a lot of research and download stuff and different things on our iPhone. So over a period of time, the space in it will get a bit smaller. So you need to get rid of all of those backlogging of information and also get rid of maybe videos and images, which are, you know what I mean, taking up a lot of space on your iPhone device. So the first thing I want you guys to do is to head over to your settings. And then you're going to go down to general. So when you come to general, you're going to go down to storage and iCloud usage. And then you're going to go down to manage storage. And this is where you can see pretty much all of the apps which are eating up pretty much all of your storage here. You can see obviously for camera and photos, it's going to take up a lot of that. Then WhatsApp for me is iMovie and Dizier and also Facebook and different things. Maybe on yours, there may be apps that you might have downloaded maybe time ago, which you may not even use. In. So you can go ahead and also get rid of those apps and you know and that and that would be a nice way for you to get back some space on your iPhone device for more useful um, activities so that's one way you can see exactly what app is taking up lots of space so the next thing you can go after you identify where most of the space is taken you can go inside there now and get rid of all of those information for me obviously it's in photos and cameras so you're talking about videos and also you're talking about maybe images. So for you, it could be the same, it could be something different, but like I said, as long as I identify, you can go and just do whatever deletion you wanna take place um, on your device. And the app that I wanna share with you guys today that can clean up your disk and your memory is called the Memory and Disk Scanner Pro. And this app definitely do lots of magic. As you can see here, it says storage almost full, which as you can see earlier, it literally fell to the top. So all I have to go ahead and do is to obviously sit down here and then you're gonna perform a scan on both the memory and also the disk. And then we're gonna see whatever junks I have available on my device. I have done a bit of cleaning over the period of time. So you can see for now, you can see that I have well over 343 megabyte of junk files on my disk. So I can go ahead and just get rid of that. Maybe for you, if you was to do the same thing in yours, then you can see maybe similar size or a much more bigger size because it depends on how often you normally clean your device. So like I said, you can install this from the app um, store and you can get it up and running in a second. I think you have the free trial and then obviously you're gonna have to app into the paid version. But like I said, something like this, which can keep your system clean and tidy, uh, I would definitely would be investing in this one if I were you. So like I said, the name of it is the Memory and Disk Scanner Pro. So I'm going to perform another um, scan and see what happens if anything remain. So you got 13, so I can get rid of this as well. Performing the last one now and see if we got anything remain and the disk or the memory. So all you can see now, guys, non-junk files and disks. So pretty much everything is clean and the disk. And now we're getting head toward the memory now and see what's going on with the memory. And also the memory is clean as well. So this is, like I said, a nice and tidy way you can go ahead and clean up your, your iPhone, get it more faster, get it more space. And then obviously you can go ahead and, you know, get rid of any kind of junk file and different things, maybe images and video footage, which you may not use or not using right now. You can go ahead and upload that to your laptop or your desktop, whatever you're using. You can just store those um, different information, which, you know, you don't necessarily have to have on your device, which are slowing it down a little bit more. So if you found this video useful, please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. And also YouTube marketing, you can check out my channel for loads of different videos on YouTube marketing and different, you know, how to videos, which I would explore some more going forward. So like I said, thank you very much for your time and have a blessed day. Thanks.